If you haven't heard of this trend, are you living under a rock? Hi babes, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we will be tackling the oh so trendy butterfly nails. I'm sure you guys have seen them all over Instagram and Facebook, so I thought this would be the perfect time to recreate them and show you guys a few tips and tricks on how to get a super clean and flawless design. If you're intimidated by nail art, don't be, because I'm going to share my tips and my tricks and show you exactly how to get that super clean and perfect look. Let's get into the video. Today I'll be using clear acrylic and the medium ivory from the Color Blend collection. For my gel art, I'll be using Razzleberry Smash, Give Me a Beat, Sunny Days, Tropic Like It's Hot, and Black to Black. I'll also be using my Glam & Glitz EMA Liquid Monomer, a size 10 Kalinsky brush, a medium carbide safety bit, a medium grit hand file, a medium grit buffer block, a striper art brush, and Kira Sky's non-wipe top coat. Okay, so I already have my model's nails prepped with nail tips and ready for acrylic. If you would like to see how I got here and learn how to prep the nail to avoid lifting, then click on this pop-up link above. We have a video showing you exactly how to get to this point, and there's tons of information on there. Okay, so before we get started, I have a quick tip for you guys. Grab some of your monomer and apply a very thin coat on the nail bed and on the nail tip. This is gonna get rid of any of the air bubbles that tend to happen if you have dry acrylic, and it's also going to assure that our powders adhere to the nail for a long-lasting set. Another thing that I like to do is grab a small bead of clear so that I don't apply color acrylic directly onto her nail bed. This isn't a problem most of the time, but my client loves changing colors every two weeks or so, so the next time that she comes in for a fill, I'll just have to file down to this clear layer, and I won't have to remove her entire set. This is also gonna help protect the nail from any staining or additional filing when it's time for her fill. And it's going to give you a bit more strength because remember, clear acrylic is the purest and strongest acrylic. So it's definitely a pro tip and something I highly recommend doing because it's gonna make your life so much easier as a nail tech. Let me know if this is something that you guys had heard of before or if you do this on your clients already. Okay, now it's time to start building my nail and I'm going to grab a small bead of medium ivory and place it onto the nail bed without touching the cuticle. Using my number 10 acrylic brush, I'll start to slowly work the product down the nail and when you're doing this, let gravity help you out. Point the fingers down a bit so that the acrylic can start making its way down to the free edge. You want to slowly push the product up into the cuticle without touching the skin. Then you want to start pulling down with the body of your brush and sculpt the nail. Remember, you are not painting on the acrylic, you're building the structure, so just use light strokes with a little bit of pressure. This is one of my favorite cover shades from the Color Blend collection. It's such a gorgeous color and one of my favorites when doing ombre and designs because it's not too pink, too peach, or too brown. It's just like the perfect caramel shade. Now I'm going to place a bead on the free edge and start pushing it towards the cuticle to get an even layer. This is what you would call a two bead method. If you want to work a bit faster, you can definitely do the one bead method, which is what I'm gonna show you on this finger. When doing a one bead method, you're of course picking up a lot more product, so you want to pick up a little bit more liquid than you normally do and bounce the brush in the jar until you get the perfect bead. You want to place it on the nail, but just like with the first method, you don't want to get too close to the cuticle. Use the tip and body of your brush to start working the product up towards the cuticle without touching the skin. Then you want to let gravity help you out a bit and let the acrylic make its way down to the free edge. Once the product makes its way down to the free edge, you wanna use the body of your brush to create a really sharp tip and keep the shape of your nail. This is of course going to reduce the filing time later. Lightly brush up once you're done and blend the free edge up to the nail bed. I'm going to finish off this set with the one bead method because as I mentioned, it's going to be the quickest way. If you want an in-depth tutorial on a one bead method, be sure to click on that pop-up link above. It's gonna help you so much and it's gonna give you a lot of information and tips.
Once your acrylic is dry, we're ready to encapsulate our color and clear. So I'm gonna grab a small to medium sized bead and place it close to the cuticle. Then you wanna make your way down with your brush until the color is completely covered. This part is optional, but I like to add it for extra strength and to protect the color from filing. If you have a client whose nails break really easily or they tend to like longer nails, then you definitely wanna do this step. Once my acrylic is dry, we're ready to start filing and shaping the nail. Remember to always keep your nail file straight so your shape is even. Don't tilt it to the sides because it will mess with the shape of your nail. And if your shaping isn't perfect, your design will not look as great. I also like to flip my client's hands over to ensure that it's straight from every angle and make sure that you're using even pressure on both sides of the nail. If you would like to learn how to shape the perfect nail, click on the link above. We have another video showing you how to do the most popular nail shapes. Now I'll grab my sanding bit and start shaping and filing the nail. Remember to always file in one direction. If you don't, you could definitely cut your client and cause the drill to skip, so always in one direction. And now with a buffer block, I'm going to make sure everything is super smooth because we're getting ready to do our design. Okay, babe, so we're ready for our butterflies. The colors I'll be using today are Raspberry Smash, Give Me a Bee, Sunny Days, Tropic Like It's Hot, and Black to Black. I'm going to use a little tray to place a small drop of all my colors. I always like to do this because I wanna make sure the colors look really pretty together and they're accessible when I'm working on my design. So I'm going to start off with sunny days and with a tiny and very thin striper brush, I'm going to start creating the shape of a butterfly wing. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but you do wanna make sure that it's a clean shape. Now with Razzleberry Smash, I'm going to place another little shape and start blending it into sunny days for an ombre effect. You can see here I started with the body of the butterfly in yellow and I'm building out the wings from there. You don't have to worry about it being super perfect because we're going to clean it up later, so don't worry. Once we have the wings drawn on there, we can start building the body of the butterfly. Now for my other butterfly, I wanna do more of a side view, so I'll start with the wings of the butterfly this time and use Tropic Like It's Hot for this one. I really like the ombre effect on the first butterfly, so I wanna repeat it on this one as well. I'll use Give Me a Bee and start blending them together. Once I'm satisfied with the design, I'll cure it under my Beyond Pro LED lamp for 30 seconds. And now we can outline our design and bring it to life. I'll be using black to black and that same striper brush to outline my butterfly and give it a little bit more detail and make it look really pretty. As you can see, it is giving me full coverage for the outline without spreading, which is why I love using black to black for detailing.
Let me know in the comments down below if you love this trend and design as much as I do. Now that I'm pretty happy with the design, I'm going to cure it under my lamp for a full 60 seconds this time, just to ensure everything stays in place. To finish off this design, I'll be using my all-time favorite top coat from Cure Sky. This non-wipe top coat gives you a beautiful shine without needing to wipe the nail, so the moment it comes out of the lamp, your client is ready to go. It's so amazing and I highly recommend it on top of anything. Whether you use gel, acrylic, or dip powder, this top coat is amazing and you're going to fall in love with it. Beautiful! Look at this design, you guys. I'm so obsessed and I can definitely understand why it became such a huge trend. Thank you so much for joining me today and hanging out with me. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that button and let me know what trend I should tackle next. See you guys in the next video. Bye!